Welcome to this demonstration of the V controller version 3. It's a DIY built MIDI foot controller. It supports the GP10, the GR55, the Roland VG99, the Zoom G3 and the Zoom MS70 CDR. At the moment I have uh, all those devices connected and uh, currently I'm actually controlling the GP10, I can just swap to the next device. Here I can control the patches on the GR55. Same goes for the VG99, I see all the names. Um, the G3 and the Zoom uh, MS70 CDR. You can also see the effects that are on and off currently. I see the flanger which I can switch on and off. You can see the LED on that one changing as well. It's a great device. Uh, it took me about two years to develop it so far. And development is still going on. The V-Controller actively reads the patch names and uh, it can also show parameter states and it'll tell on the display what the parameter is. Uh, and it can do assigns, for that I have to switch to another device. Here you can see the assigns of the VG99. This is FC300 Control 1, which is set to Cosm Guitar Switch. And when I press that, you can see the Cosm Guitar Switch uh, switching on and off on the VG99. The V-Controller will also support a number of general MIDI commands like program change, CC messages and note on and off messages. The V controller can be built in a number of ways. Here's the normal model with normal monochrome backlit displays, 12 of them and the main display. The other option is to use RGB displays which uh, has the great possibility of having different colors for the displays which particularly is very nice when you see the um, parameters of the GR55 in this case. The RGB displays are a bit more expensive and the visibility is slightly less than the normal black and white ones. A new addition to the V-Controller it's a Perspex top plate that really protects the displays. The top of the V-Controller is nice and smooth and no dust and dirt can come to the displays. The building time of the V-Controller has been made a lot shorter. There are now proper PCBs on the inside. It's one main board and four display boards with cutaways for the displays and in between there are DuPont connectors that connect everything together. Also the switches connect with chart wires directly to the display boards. So building it has been made a lot easier. There's also space on the inside of the enclosure for an option slot. This piece of metal can be pushed out and then you can put a bracket to uh, connect an internal Raspberry Pi or maybe in the future there will be other additions to the V-Controller range. Who knows where this project will go. Another addition is an external Raspberry Pi enclosure. On the inside you will find the Raspberry Pi and below the Raspberry Pi is another PCB that will add 9 volts power and serial MIDI connections to the Pi. On the back of the V-Controller you will find connectors for power or RC2, that's a specific connector for the Roland VG99, MIDI, expression pedals and external switches and USB for USB MIDI and for firmware upgrades. There are a lot of new ways to control parameters like up down buttons when you hold them the value will change when you press them shortly the direction will change in which the parameters are changing when you hold them also there are multiple state buttons the v controller controls 
single st uh, uh, normal toggle states, momentary switches, and also multiple states, which can run, uh, which can support uh, quite a few values. The V controller also supports expression pedals, as you can see in the display. It'll show the specific parameter that is being updated on movement of the expression pedal. There's also a new menu structure. Inside the menu you can set a lot of different settings for the V controller, including things like LED colors. You can also do firmware operations like initialize settings and commands. The V controller comes with a working fixed configuration, but you can also program the switches yourself. At the moment there is no editor for the V controller. The programming structure is very flexible. You can assign any number of commands to one switch. In total there is memory space for 3000 commands, which can be assigned to the internal switches, external switches, and also when you select a page commands can be triggered. The number of pages is 200 in total that you can program, and the number of commands is even larger. You can actually add any number of commands to uh, one page. In theory all 3000 commands can be assigned to one button. There is also a default page. If no commands were programmed for a switch, the vcontrol will see if there is a command in the default bank and execute that one. Let me quickly run through the commands that you can program. There are a number of common functions like select page, which will select one of the pages on the V controller, page up, page down, in case you want to make it scrolling possible from one page to the next, tap tempo, set tempo, global tuner, MIDI PC, MIDI CC, MIDI note, next device, which is actually what this button does. Uh, it'll look at the devices that are connected and just move to the next one. And for the devices there are a number of commands. Patch selection for all of the devices. Parameter select so you can have a fixed parameter on the one button. Assign which at least the Roland and Boss devices support for the VG99 where I'm now. There are a lot of assigns that you can program. Patch bank select. This actually gives the flexible pages where you see a number of patches on the screen and with bank up and down you can scroll through them. So on one page you can actually select all the patches of a specific device. You can combine this as well to uh, have the possibility to co um, select patches on several devices. Next patch, previous patch, just a way of quickly scroll, actually the way the buttons work on the GP10, just selects the next or previous patch. Mute, select device page and some specific options for um, selecting specific pages on devices. Just quickly going back to the global settings, here you can set US20 emulation. This will actually switch the sound on and off on specific devices. It only works for Boss Roland so far. You can set whether the V controller will send uh, its global tempo on a program change. So the good thing is when you s tap a tempo and you change patch, the tempo of the V controller will override the current tempo of the patch. So you will just have one tempo all the time and you can just change patches and still keep in time with your drummer. On this page you can also set base mode. Base mode is actually a number of CC messages that are sent to a device and when with the proper assignments in a patch 
you can actually switch the strings on and off in such a way that only the lowest string that is being played is heard. If you that, that combine that with the sound of a bass guitar, you get an automatic bass mode. Combine that with another sound and you can play bass and guitar at the same time. In the LED settings you can set colors. Also the brightness of the LED can be changed. The brightness of the backlights that only works for the RGB version unfortunately. And there is something which is called virtual LEDs. With virtual LEDs you have an indication in the display uh, of the patch that is selected. So technically you could build the V controller without LEDs and still see which patch is selected. With the external Raspberry Pi it is possible to connect the V controller using only one wire. In this case power is coming through this uh, Raspberry Pi box. I have four devices connected, the GP10, the uh, MS70 and the uh, G3 and also I have connected a regular USB to MIDI cable. This allows for connection of even uh, other devices and leave the USB MIDI port free in case it has uh, regular MIDI. Building plans can be found on GitHub for uh, everything. You will find uh, the boards, the enclosure and drawings of all that over here. Also there is a building guide with uh, the parts you need, building instructions, PCB layouts and more information about the V-Controller if you want to build one yourself. And if you want more information about the V-Controller and other Bus Roland's products find me on vguitarforums.com. I am called 68 over there. The post about this project is found on the user project blogs page. And here is a lot of information about the V-Controller. Thanks, I hope you enjoyed this presentation.